Hey, good morning. I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietor here at Fuzzy Goat, and let's talk about 29 Bridges one last time in their pop-up because this is the last weekend. I'm wearing Meridian, which is made from two skeins. I'll undo it here. It's made, it's magnificent. It's made from two skeins um, up here and then one each down here, though you might be able to use some that you have in your uh, stash down at the bottom, but you could always start with some fresh skeins and then use the remainder in another project. I'm planning another colorwork sweater and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do is use some of my uh, skeins from a other project in my colorwork. So this is the go-to sock and we would love to uh, ship back Mary of 29 Bridges, a very small if uh, no box at all. So we have some of her items here still to go. And so I'm going to show you some of these uh, 29 Bridges, the go-to sock, 463 yards, 75% uh, superwash merino, 25% nylon. This one's called West End and would go really great with this one here called Prue. And we have just two, two of these of the Prue left. And if you wanted to do three things, um, like say you wanted to do this scarf, you could use the two Prue for that beautiful red, and then you could stripe it and this, and there's one of the hot metal left in that. So you don't want to miss out on that. This is also just exquisite. Look at these here. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Okay, these two would go together great. Also, this is Sentimental and Curacao, and we only have one Curacao left, this really pretty blue. Look at those two together. Um, so what could you do with two together? You could knit this. Susan knit this. This is Tammy Gore's Drifter. And though it calls for three colors, I believe, um, but you don't use all the skeins up of uh, the two different colors. So calls for three colors, three colors. Um, these two colors can equal one skein. So Susan knit it in 29 bridges and she knit it with just two skeins. So you could do this beautiful thing like this and there's only one of these left. And this one's Drifter. But say you've got your eye on one really pretty multicolored one. This one here is Dream. You could do, what could you do with just one skein? You could do Hohi Locatelli's Storm. And yes, we have a little bit of extra color at the bottom. That's something that I always like to do, and Susan has done that on this as well. But that could be something left over in your stash, and it's not even part of the pattern. And one skein can do that too here so that one would be really pretty in that and then what else do we have left here we have aubergine and little miss sunshine these three together would make a fabulous tamdo i'm going to go get that so you can see that i would put these three together absolutely oops sample overboard and make whoop, a tamdo with this. This is one of my favorites. I like to wear this a lot. You guys like it when I wear it. Yarn everywhere. Um, these three would make a really pretty fun tamdo. Um, but these things are, these 29 bridges is only here for the next, uh, I got to pack it up on Monday. So you can buy it today. We can he help you with colors and things like that and texting 229-236-GOAT. And you can still buy it online Sunday, but Monday I got to shut it down and box it up. So in addition to the really beautiful fingering, we also have some amazing Surrey silk, which is a lot like mohair, except I think it's softer. Um, what could you do with that? You could use one with a fingering and make um, Andrea Mallory's Birds of a Feather. Elaine knit this beautiful one for us out of a different dyer's yarn. But you could make this with Dream and Rose Gold together, and that would be super pretty. Um, when you buy these yarns to make this, ask us for the modifications 
so that you can do this with just one skein of this. The original pattern is a little bit larger, but you can see this is still plenty big and used one and then maybe a quarter of another skein. And, um, and so Elaine um, figured out, following some other modifications, how to do that in one each. So that would be really pretty in that. So let's see what other kind of pairs we got here. Melissa put some together because she took advantage of the pop-up before it left and she's making this the promenade blouse. Isn't that cute as can be? And she's using, it uses a DK and the Surrey. So she's got some fun things in the, in the barrel here for me. You could make that with these two, striping these two. And this, because it's going to be looser, it's a smaller yarn, is not going to be as saturated as it looks in the skein. You know, it's going to be a little sheer in there. Um, but maybe you want to match it and go a little more monochrome. That would be really pretty too. Um, yeah, so this is the promenade blouse. And we have that link up now in the Surrey silk and the DK under our pop-up link and I'll put that up there too so those would be really pretty you could do like I said you could do it this way this way or this way or you could even make it a little golder and go like this Ooh, that's really pretty those are my colors um, Melissa is doing this combination I think that's gonna be really pretty this one is berry and then this is Tahoe we don't have Melissa with us in the store today. She is delivering her daughter to Jacksonville for her trek to her semester abroad. So we're very excited that it is on the way and everybody's going off safely. This would make a beautiful combination. They're both rose gold. You could do that together, but maybe you want to mix it up a little bit. And you could do rose gold with dream. Oh, that would be so pretty. That would be dreamy for the promenade blouse. And then for you classic people, I'm thinking like Nylene here might like this, which is, this is linen and this is dusk. And that would be very similar to the, the photograph there on the sample. So we've got lots of DK, not, not lots. We have, we have this amount here of DK. And we have some of the Surrey, and I showed you some of the fingering. So it's not a lot, but I really would love to let Mary know how much we loved her yarn by sending her back. Hardly any, if any at all. So let me put this back in there. Jennifer and I will be here today to help you with making selections if you need any. And so I just wanted you to know that this is our last day for the pop-up. Also... We've been having a lot of fun in the store this week. Um, I took a deep breath, looked around the store, which samples, which yarns mostly. We started with which yarns do we have that we don't have samples for. Um, oh, Kara, you're in Hendersonville. I'm just Im imagining just some cool breeze, dewy morning. Oh, I, I like to pretend it's kind of cool here in the morning. It is a little bit cooler. But I looked around at which yarns do we not have uh, uh, decent samples for. You know, we show them to you, uh, but we just don't have a really good sample for them. And so I made a list of those, and well, we all did. And then I had a, the best time shopping for patterns that would go with them. And I thought I would share some of that fun with you. So here is one that we're thinking Barbara, Barbara, if you're watching, I think I sent you a text. <laughs> and we're hoping Barbara might knit this one up for us. This is in the uh, brushed Surrey. This is also alpaca and uh, merino and bamboo. And it is so soft. And Madeline picked out this beautiful gray to make this wrap. And it only uses three skeins. So we're going to make this sample for the shop and we'll be able to show that off. But just look how lovely that is. Carolina found that pattern. I just think that's beautiful. And of course, Melissa signed up to do three. We kind of set her at a limit of three only because she would probably do them all. And we still want her to be able to knit for herself as well. 
So here is one that Melissa's going to do. So it's about time that we actually get our own James West pa Watts pattern. So we're going to do this one here is, uh, 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 I get them mixed up. This is Sun Gazer. I always want to call this Mystic Square. This is Sun Gazer, and we're going to do it in this. And we think if we do the small size, you may actually only need one. So won't that be fun? This is our uh, Mad Hatter Gradient and it is uh, sport weight and it has an amazing it has 515 yards in a sport weight so we're going to do that so most of us are probably going to need two of these um but look how fun that i can't wait to see that unfold all right another yarn that we have in the store and we don't talk about it a lot because you know we didn't have a sample or even some suggestions uh i mean we did have some but this is the the cotton cotton zabber ball so we love to get some cottons in because we are in the deep south but lots of you like cotton also because it's just non-allergenic and a little bit easier to care for and so this is i don't know if you can see this picture here these are all the colors that are in this ball and it's, so it's a gradient it's a fingering and so we're going to pair it with our sandnez garn mandarin petite we're going to put these two together both cottons both fingerings and Melissa is going to knit this one here called Murano squares see that isn't that fun so it's going to be a shawl and it's got a lot of slip stitches and we're going to have the gradient uh, just change colors in there and do a lot of the work that's a lot of fun finding the going around finding the yarns that needed samples and then um, figuring out what the patterns might be. I started with the yarn. So I'm, I'll share this with you too, because it might be fun for you to figure out how to, which patterns. I started with the yarn and then what people had made with it, or maybe what the dyer itself suggested. And so that kind of gave me some, and we had some, some patterns for that. Then I went over to Hot Right Now in Ravelry to see what was hot right now. And then that opened up a whole new world, you know, and things like that. So, um, we'll have those so nancy i'm not sure what you mean by the blue and brown shawl if you mean the one that i'm wearing now uh that is that link is up under the go to sock um pop-up so we have that and it's called meridian okay another yarn that we don't have because it flies out of here so we have not taken one out of inventory to do a sample but we've restocked and we feel like it's time is Sister Anansi's zebra yarn. And so you can see why it's called zebra because the base itself, before she even dyes it, has random spots. See, some, some, some twist doesn't have any black and some does have black. This is in our custom colorway. She does three custom colorways for us. This one is called Goat Gang. And so that one, this is the... Um, we don't but we don't have a sample of how this knits up so jennifer's been dying to figure out how that's going to go and so she is going to do this one here and it's called mand mander man mandagrora shawlette this one here and so how i picked that is it's a very graphic image so as you can see so that, that's just another kind of sharing point. When you have a super busy yarn, you don't want a pattern that's really intricate and detailed because it's not going to show up. It might be fun to do, but it's not going to show up. I like to kind of push that boundary, and I have a couple examples of that. Um, but this one, with its uh, squares and very geometric and graphic pattern, I think will really show this yarn off really great so we'll see Jennifer's gonna knit this one up uh, this one here that you're asking about the drifter which is kind of an aqua and an olive uh, the pattern for that the drifter is also up under the sister Anansi I'm, I'm sorry under the 29 bridges go to sock and yes Deborah says that the D, we have these same colors here in the DK and it's also um, it's amazingly soft it's really just really a fun yarn and we're really lucky to have uh her yarns in our shop all right another yarn that kind of sells itself but we really wanted to have a sample is pashmina malintosh pashmina this has cashmere and 
and and um let me oh where's my where's my and silk i knew it i thought it had cat silk but i do want to overstate it has uh, cashmere silk and superwash merino and it's also a sport so we haven't had a lot of sport because we haven't had a lot of patterns but we're finding them these two are sports pashmina is just a, an amazingly lovely yarn a lot of times you could use it instead of a dk um, and we found this pattern here called sunburnt because we wanted to find one that you could do um just one skein in you know there's lots of things you could do several skeins with but what you know if you buy in this and it's a lovely yarn um it's not an expensive because it's got cashmere and silk in it so what could you do with just one skein so sunburnt is a great pattern for that look at this detail here at the bottom and melissa just couldn't wait to work with uh pashmina so she's going to do that and it's got 360 yards so a single skein project is absolutely um in the realm of possibilities um elaine's going to knit a sample for us and we have one skein of this but i have ordered more of this color this is fino we have lots of other colors of fino i almost chose this color for this sample because i love this color um but we're going into fall so i thought this might be a better one but one skein of fino and fino has 490 yards so it is really generous in its yardage and i found this one i think it was actually number one in hot right now is hohi locatelli's the lonely skein so it's actually a shawl that's written for a single skein of fingering yarn so that's going to be really great i always love a little bit of fringe in there um i'll probably offer to do the fringe for elaine she'll do all the all the knitting and we have not forgotten about our crocheters we have found uh, this pattern, but we're going to make a few modifications to it here. So there's this one here by Manos. So we're going to do this crochet, but we're going to kind of do it more. This is the same pattern. You could do it as a as a as a kind of a wrap thing, or as a cowl. We're going to do it as a scarf. So that's how we're going to do it. And Jennifer's so talented at figuring that out. And we that uses. Let's see if I can lift these up correctly. That uses one full skein of Fino, which is the blue, and then our little mini bundle. And the mini bundle are all these. So we're going to put those together, and it's going to make a scarf that's like this with these granny squares, which I personally cannot wait to wear in the store. Um, that kind of happens with all of these. They kind of tend to be my colors because I'm like, oh, what do I want to wear? In fact, I really don't finish getting dressed till I come to the store and figure out what I'm going to put on. Um, so those are all the things that we've been up to this week that and just you know lots of unpacking of all kinds of fun stuff um, let me show you one other piece that we've got over here in fact it might be easier to just kind of bring you with me than bring it to here so here is Stephen West painting honeycomb shawl which is also made in go-to sock which we have some left right on the table here so I'm going to go put some links up, see if I can answer your questions. You can text Jennifer and I today at 229-236-GOAT. And you can also find all the things I've been talking about at fuzzygoatyarns.com. Last weekend for the 29 Bridges, and we're getting some new samples up. Thank you guys for spending some of your Saturday with me this morning.